Each year, I pick a handful of funds from our Select 50. They're funds that I hope will do well in the year ahead, but I pick them with a view to the longer term as well. I see them as good core holdings in a portfolio. I've invested in all my picks over the years, and I hold on to them in my ISA and SIP. 2022 was a difficult year, and I expect 2023 will also be tough for households and businesses, but better for the markets. Investors look to the future, they anticipate better times ahead, and that means it can pay to be optimistic even when the economy is struggling. No one knows what the future holds. A year ago, only a few, if any, would have predicted the war in Ukraine. So we need to be prepared for the unexpected. That's the backdrop to my picks for 2023. A belief that markets will move ahead of the real economy, but a cautious respect for Mr. Market too. I think shares will end the year higher than they began it, and that's why I've selected two global equity funds. The first is the more defensive of the two. The Dodge & Cox Worldwide Global Stock Fund is a contrarian, value-focused fund. It looks for shares that are out of favour in the short term, but which have longer-term growth potential. The companies it invests in tend to be medium-sized or large and well-established, and they tend to be cheaper than their peers. Shares in the portfolio are likely to have a higher than average dividend yield too. My second global equity fund pick is very different. This is a much higher octane recommendation and its recent performance shows that investors should be prepared for much greater volatility with this fund. The Edinburgh Worldwide Investment Trust invests in smaller companies all over the world, some of which may not yet be listed on public stock markets. Bailey Gifford, which runs this investment trust, looks for mould-breaking companies with high growth potential. Entrepreneurial businesses which have the ability to become long-term winners. This is a risky way to invest and it's only sensible to do so in a closed vehicle like an investment trust, which can take a longer-term view and avoid being forced to sell investments at the wrong moment. When the market turns up, this investment is likely to outperform more defensive funds, but it's definitely an eyes wide open choice. A key part of my investment thesis for 2023 is that interest rates will start to fall again as the economy heads towards a likely recession on both sides of the Atlantic. Lower interest rates should be a positive for both shares and bonds, so my third pick is a fixed income fund. In particular, I expect government bonds, which are the most sensitive to interest rates, to outperform corporate bonds, which have an element of company-specific risk too. My choice here is the Colchester Global Bond Fund. Colchester is a bond specialist and lends to governments all over the world, but this fund is focused on those in the developed world. I'd expect this fund to do well if investors are concerned about recession and they're looking for a safe haven. My final choice is a fund that combines all of this thinking in one defensive package, the Peerford Global Total Return Fund invests in a range of assets holding shares, bonds and cash at the same time. It's a contrarian fund which will increase its exposure to stock markets when they fall and shares become cheap. This fund is conservatively run and offers a potentially smoother ride to investors who would prefer to hand over their asset allocation decisions to a professional manager rather than do it themselves.